Hi everyone, so a quick hands on here now of Windows operating system on the X10 HD 3G. Here you can see this is the boot menu, it pops up if you want it to pop up. There's a little selector up the top here, you can disable that menu and when you boot you have to hold volume up and this menu will appear again. So this time around I'm going to quickly boot into Windows and just have a quick run through of how the performance is on Windows. Okay, so the standard Windows menu here. Let's have a quick flick around in here, see how that runs. Touch response seems really good. Uh, the scanning on Windows here is 250, I think. So the default scanning that it came with uh, from the factory that TechLast had set for the tablet. And the standard background they seem to always use now this nice looking uh, looks like uh, Tahiti or somewhere around there very nice background anyway the screen resolution sorry screen resolution sometimes that happens in Windows it can be a little bit tricky but I'm also recording and looking at the camera too I should probably be looking at directly at the screen here. So you can see the re screen resolution is uh, 2560 by 1600. So that gives us a pixel density PPI of 299. So the screen is nice and sharp here. And everything's not too small on the screen. I quite like the scanning as it is at the moment here. And I'll also show you that the uh, monitor here the refresh rate is shown for the screen is 60 Hertz so there are no issues there these were issues that were present on the Air 3G when we first were able to flash over a Windows image there were issues with the frame rate the refresh rate being 48 Hertz and this isn't the case here and the cameras uh, working the correct way up just like an Android so that's pointing at my ceiling my hand there and the light above the ceiling the flash and everything from the camera too is pretty hard for the sensor to pick that up so if I change to the rear camera you'll see that uh, that is also working you can see the ASUS logo there of my monitor just if I can find the camera properly so there's no issues there now those issues that were present in the first Windows uh, builds of the Air 3G none of those issues at all uh, so running um, Internet Explorer we'll have a quick look on that so you can see that uh, it is really smooth. I find this one of the best browsers there is. It, it beats uh, Google Chrome definitely. No issues at all. Running it, it's just very fast. Very quick. This is the best browser. This is a metro mode of course. I mean it's designed for tablets so it, uh, it works really well. I'll just load on here and go to uh, CNN which I haven't visited and also we see how that loads okay so that it runs pretty well there that uh, lag there loading in the images is probably my internet connection, it's not the fastest. 
Don't think it's the tablet lagging there. It shouldn't be, not under Metro. Might be if it was Chrome. But it doesn't seem to be bad at all. Try a see if I can find a video. Uh, BBC. Okay, we'll find a video here somewhere. Um, there we go. Run a video. See how that runs. That's running a video in there. No stutters or lag or anything. So what happens if I rotate the screen? Video is still playing there in the background. So, and zoom in, of course. Still seems, it seems really fluid. So, that is the Metro Internet Explorer app there. Desktop version has similar speed, probably not as fast. See, this sometimes happens in Windows. Click here, and for some reason the keyboard hasn't popped up automatically, which should happen, but hasn't. So I haven't run any Windows updates yet on this, so it could be because I need to run the updates, and maybe it fixes that. Um, that is a general Windows issue anyway, so... The typing on the keyboard is fine. Okay, so that loads in just fine. No lags or anything there. And I'll get on to the available storage is actually just shy of 30 gigabytes. Here I have actually used up a few because I've just installed a couple of applications and whatnot. So you can see that the there's plenty more space than trying to run it on a 32 gigabyte EMMC, which is on the other tech class models, which I, I think if you're going to have dual boot, you really need a minimum of 64 gigabytes. Otherwise, you're going to run into uh, space issues, which is definitely a real problem. Okay, so if I have a quick look at some um, games installed, uh, Asphalt 8. Now, as I think this is the first time I booted it, I think it's going to lag. It's going to be slow because it's running at that high resolution. That is a lot for a Bay Trail chip to try and render that. That is going to be almost too much. So let's see if I'm right or not. So far, so good. Of course, this is the menus. So I'll get into a race now here. and see how this runs. I think it supports keyboard, so I've got a uh, hub here that's charging with four USB 2 ports on it, and I have my Logitech connected here, so let's see how this runs. Actually, that looks uh, stuttery a little bit. See how the gameplay is. Okay, I can steer with a keyboard. Uh, it's hmm, definitely slower than the the X98 Air 3G. I mean, that's still playable. I'm, I'm actually surprised. I thought it'd be a lot more choppier than this. I mean, this I don't know how many frames per second this is running, but uh, it's a little bit choppy. I don't know if that's coming out in the video, but I'd say that's around a, an estimate of around maybe 20 frames per second, maybe a bit more in some areas. It doesn't seem too bad. I expected that high resolution to uh, 
have this game running, just grind the whole system to a halt on, almost, but actually this seems quite alright. And I'll try a little bit with the sensor. Okay, you can stay fine with the sensor. So there's So, okay, so that's a quick Windows Metro style app game, runs fine. Uh, I'll just show you now a, just do a benchmark of the internal drive, show you the device manager as well. So I'll just run this here in the background and have a look at device manager. That's quite slow to load. It's probably because I'm running the benchmark there at the same time. It's not too bad. So you can see that the drive is a Hiinx, or how we you pronounce that, 64 gigabyte one. Uh, everything else, the sensors we have on board, we have the GLONASS GPS sensor, and we have uh, the orientation sensor these are the exact same it's the exact same hardware as the X98 A3G and Bluetooth as well that would be Realtek let me just find that network adapters so we have Realtek it's the same exact wireless N card that is in the A3G and in a lot of these Chinese tablets Okay, so that's pretty much all I can show you there in the devices, the device manager. And uh, there is everything else is uh, imaging devices. And where are we? Oh, you can see the camera sensors. I think at least the rear camera is exactly the same as the X98 A3G and it also has the same annoying issue which I'll show you right here is that not popping up for me oh there it is of the battery life well it's detecting only half of the battery there are two battery cells and it's only detecting one of them so there's 4,000, there's only one battery cell there, so it's detecting these two, this should read about 31. And the same issue happened to me on the X98 A3G. And what happens, it gets stuck on 7%, and it could be on 7% for a couple of hours. And uh, what I'm going to try and do is drain the whole battery, recharge it, and hopefully that will disappear. If it won't, that's a, a really annoying fault there. And I do have the hub on board that is charging quite a low rate there at the moment as I mentioned before there's the the hub it's connected in and I'm just charging up the unit so look at the benchmark oh it's gonna take a while that is so the speed there is roughly around the same as most normal drives it's uh, not the slowest, and it's definitely not the fastest, but it's a sort of middle ground there, so it's not too bad at all. And, okay, so what I'll try and do is do a bit of multitasking here. See if I can run a few apps at the same time.
That is really slow to load. Very slow. So we've got store. It's all smooth. Anything that's seen that's Metro runs just really great. There's no stutter lag or anything. It's really really works really well. And of course we can oops, split screen. Like so, you can run the split screens here. And it's not an issue, just waiting for the benchmark to finish there. So you can see the drive speeds are nothing amazing, uh, but they could be worse. Thankfully they're not. On my ear, 3G, I'm running a read speed of 120 and write of 40 only, so a lot slower. And uh, luckily, this isn't as slow as that machine. But so far, the experience of running Windows on this tablet is, uh, is really good. Sometimes it's hit and miss with the, the touch here, accuracy. It's not too bad at all, but uh, it's really the same I remember on my Surface 3, which was which is the, pretty much the same. So everything seems to be, you know, it's, you can minimize, maximize, and all that with your fingers, running, closing boxes. It's not too much of a problem. I mean, sometimes you miss things, um, but you do get used to that. So yeah, obviously, like there, I top charts, is that? Oh, no, okay, it is loading. All right, so the benchmark's finished there. So you can see the figure of the actual internal drive. And I won't bother to run any other benchmarks or anything like that because this tablet has uh, the same exact chipset that I've been using and running lots of gaming benchmarks and everything on this machine right here. So it's not something I really need to go over again, I think. Uh, unless you really want it to, you can request me to try something out. But a lot of games I've already covered. So that is a quick little look at Windows 8.1 running on the X10 HD 3G. I hope you liked the video. If you did like it, please give me a thumbs up. And also please do subscribe if you like this tablet or other Chinese tablets from TechLast or Onda. Uh, please subscribe because I have more videos up and coming of these systems. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.